Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Wristwatch check. I'm wearing my bluesy, my bluesy Submarina. This is paid review 23QA5. So let's go and have a look at this paid review. Okay, let's start this review. This here is for B. Here we go. Hi Archie. I've enjoyed watching your videos for years and wanted to support you. Yes, thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you so much for reaching out and saying hello to the pontiff. Uh, I wanted to support your channel for paid review. 75 US dollars sent via PayPal. I hope you're feeling better after the nasty incident. I'm very happy to see you back to doing paid reviews. I also love your idea of building a more compact, heavy hitting collection this time. I'm 33 years old, uh, live in Canada and work at a large bank. I've inserted, I've been, sorry, I've been interested in watches from an early age and have been in a position to collect them for the past few years. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the current collection and what comes next. Here it goes. Number one, we have got a Omega Speedmaster Pro Tritium dial. Gift from my dad as I was heading off to university. He bought it new for himself in the mid 90s. Gets the most wrist time. He's got a Rolex Daytona 116520. I've always loved this reference and was able to get it at retail from an AD in early 2016, right before the release of the Panda and the insuring craze, the crown jewel of the collection. Next piece is a <clears throat> Jager Le Coultre Reverso Tribute Duo. I love the Reverso and the color blue, hence this reference. I like the Grand Tawley size of this one, but I also love the extra Grand Tawley cases. I'm hoping to add either an eight day grandson moon, um, grand date, or if I'm lucky, a sept and e team. Sept team, sept and team in the future. Vasher, he's got then he's got a Vasher and Constantine traditional small seconds white gold. I've been lusting after this for years. Pulled the trigger earlier this year and I bought a one year old example. 40% below retail. You can't go wrong with that sort of discount. This one and the Reverso for my workday rotation when I'm at the office. Then he's got a Universal Geneve reference 21316. From 1948, okie dokie, the oddball piece, triple calendar moon phase, fell in love with the dial at first sight and bought it for next to nothing. So there we go, that's a nice collection there. I'm happy with the collection and won't, wouldn't want to sell anything. I hope to add a Batman GMT next year and pause for a while. As I mentioned, I'd also like to add a large eight-day reverso further down the road. Finally, in fantasy land, I'd love to add a paddock 5170. I just need to win the lottery first. Please let me know what you think. Thank you for the great content, content and all the best, B. Wow, what a beautiful collection. This guy here is only 33 years old. He's living the dream. So what do I think? Well, I think he's got some very beautiful pieces here indeed. I adore the Speedy with a story. It was his dad's given to him as he's going off to university. Well done, lad. Then we've got a Daytona, white dial Daytona. Uh, how could you not love that piece? 116520. Beautiful, beautiful piece. We've got a JLC Tribute Duo, Reverso Tribute Duo. Um, that's the one that flips. And it's got the two different time zones there. Absolutely amazing piece. 
the duo is one of the classic complications on the reverso. Uh, I think you may have may have got one of the best reversos there is. The tribute means it's in that 1931 style. You know, the the very it's got that retro look to it. Um, I really love really love the Vacheron. I mean, the Vacheron you could have gone for a Paddock 5196. Uh, the traditional small seconds, just a beautiful, gorgeous Vacheron. Doesn't get better than that. He's got a Geneve triple date, triple calendar moon phase. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five piece collection there. Um, what do I think? I think this is a really nice representation of some really classy tastes. Uh, we're not talking hype hype sort of crazy proportions but we do have a Daytona in many ways I think I prefer the pre ceramic Daytona um, the white that's that's just beautiful the speedy very classy so two really classy chronographs we have got the reverso tribute reverso tribute duo the Vacheron, and we've got a vintage Ge Universal Geneve. Um, what a great collection for a 33-year-old to have. I mean, you certainly have got a collection here, which this is the sort of collection a 50-year-old would be proud of. You know, it's it's, and I don't say that in a in a bad context. I mean, this is a amazing, very strong very strong very powerful collection now to have a look at this in depth here what would I say I hope to add a Batman uh, yes I'd still possibly fill out the Rolex I would want some you've got the pan so you've got the Daytona beautiful I'd want to add a steel sub or maybe a two-tone sub and also a, uh, a GMT function. Now, the Batman, great buying, great watch. Maybe also an Explorer 2 could be on the cards there. It doesn't matter. Or a Pepsi. All of those are great choices. Uh, so I, I would say definitely, I, I'd say yes. I don't think you need to do anything. At 33, you've got a beautiful collection. Add, I'd probably, Batman sounds nice, or an Explorer 2. Another Reverso? Definitely. <coughs> Why not? Another Reverso, definitely. Um, the Padak 5170. Yes, that's actually been... A grail of mine as well. I got a friend of mine who just bought a 5170. Fantastic watch. He got it from my good friend in Melbourne, Shawnee from European Watch Gallery. And uh, Shawnee's a great, um, great guy, great guy. Um, so I, I would say you're headed in the right direction. I just take your time, enjoy what you've got. These are amazing pieces. You've built an absolute amazing collection. I would just enjoy what you have there. I, I would say I'd probably... Some sort of GMT Rolex steel would be good. And maybe a Submariner. I like to have the three bases in Rolex covered. Uh, diver chronograph and GMT that's what I'd like to see there uh, reverso of course you can always add another reverso any of those models you've mentioned the eight day grand sun moon superb the reverso grand date I love the grand date I um, I think that's an amazing watch so I definitely tick the box and the 5170 it's always good to have a dream piece you want to have a dream piece it may not be affordable but you need to have a dream piece everybody does need that that goes 
without saying. And uh, I, I would have to say this is a really, really nice collection. Well-rounded, compact, beautiful. You look at this and you can see hope in the future. So um, I definitely... Um, I'd definitely be very proud to have that sort of collection. What a beautiful collection. Doesn't matter what age you are, that's just so beautiful. So yes, I think you're headed in the great best way there. I I, I, I cannot at your age. It's amazing. And what I love about it is it's not all hype, 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 baby hype. This is proper <coughs> the speedy, speedy, iconic, fantastic what with a great story from your dad. The Daytona, my God, you're so lucky to have a Daytona. That is beautiful watch, and I love the white dial pre-ceramic. Reverso, check. Vacheron, oh, double check. You've got all your bases covered. And I agree with you, a GMT, some sort of GMT Rolex would be the way to go. Don't be afraid to go Explorer, uh, because for the price of a Pepsi, you could get a an Explorer and a, uh, a Reverso. So you look at bang per buck. Always look for the bang per buck. Fantastic collection, I love it. Guys, this has been a paid review. Please keep the paid reviews coming. Like, subscribe and tell your friends. Remember paid reviews keep me full time on YouTube. Without the paid reviews, it's very hard for me to survive. So please keep the paid reviews coming. 50 US dollars. This guy's tipped a bit more. 75. I really do appreciate it. And guys, I will catch you in the next one. Don't forget, guys, Patreon. It allows you to keep me full time on YouTube. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride, go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation the Paul Pluto channel guys I need you to help me out guys I can't survive on Google Ads alone I need you to request a paid review 50 US dollars look down in the description 50 US dollars are we I will review your collection I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers the other thing is guys you can sponsor me on patreon patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month a dollar two dollars five dollars whatever you want and it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area. And I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon. Look down below. And I will see you in the next one.